like Greninja, I feel like has a lot of trouble approaching. And Shark can have a lot less use when he can't cancel them and mm -hmm. Cape is in play. Yeah. The, the Cape is a pretty good asset because it kind of neutralizes the Shuriken and, and also sometimes the recovery. Also, Mario has a lot of those arcing hitboxes that cover a lot of space. He's going to be putting out hitboxes where Greninja wants to land on top of him. But of course, Shinjobi is a player who's known to break defenses and break zones extremely well. So he's just going to take this first match to kind of feel it out and try to overwhelm Mario a little bit with, like, weird mix-ups. And to counter what you were saying, Mario actually also has to get in on this match. That is true, that and is true. And Ninja does outrange Mario in neutral, so mm. if Shinjobi can just put up a decent enough wall, then he just has the advantage overall, but that is a quick wow. first stock. Very clean play by Shinjobi, just popping him up, taking a fair right away. And there's some uh, footstool some shenanigans. It's good to see Shinjobi putting that lab practice into play. He's such a technical player. And oh, it's very much great so. To see. What's funny, though, is he always tells me that this game isn't technical. <laughs> and, you know, we, we call him that. I just, it's, it's funny just the way, like, players, like, see that differently. Um, I guess for him, it's more of a, like, sequence. It's more about pattern. It's almost like a dance. I don't know. Depends on what your definition of technical Ooh, is. Smash wow, that killed it. super early. Very good, early. Good stuff by PC Principal taking advantage of that unstaled forward smash. And Mario's got a really good combo game, so he's not out of it, but mm -hmm. anyone getting in on Shinjobi is going to be difficult. Mario's uh, smash attacks, none to uh, sleep on. you got to be so careful of those when you play against Mario. And that forward smash actually has a slight hitbox behind him, so it's deceptive if you try mm. to punish it too early. Right. But here we go. PC Principal's gaining some momentum. He's getting in there. Um, a little rough, but not Ooh. as rough as I thought. That's going to be it, though. Great um, use of Hydro yes. Pump to interrupt the up -key. And that's a great example of how even when you don't manage to gimp them fully, you can easily set yourself up for a follow-up I like love that how for a down smash. That, in that situation, Shinjobi opts for the smash attack instead of trying to gimp him again yep. with the Hydro Pump, because that uh, feels like a trap where they could yeah. potentially grab the ledge before that. Exactly. Also, not to mention, uh, he chose down smash, which was a great choice, because it covers the most horizontal range. It was probably the most reliable smash attack he could have used. Uh, F smash, he would have had to time a little better, but down smash, I think, was a bit more, uh, a bit more easier to land. And... At 0%, Shinjobi's DI'd out of Mario's up throw to down air combo every time. So I wonder yeah. if there's a certain DI that he knows just for his character to get out of that. Oh, I could see it. Mario being a very common threat in a lot of high-level play. And, you know, I, I know these two fool around with Mario's characters, too, for fun. So they, they know some dynamics of it. PC Principal going for those up tilts a little late. Shinjobi's always SDIing out of the up tilt string, but... PC Principal has not yeah. really cut on to that. He's, I think he's trying to time it, but it, it's a bit more of a, what's the word, kind of autopilot right mm -hmm. there, where he's kind of doing the same uh, timing with his up tilts, and you're right, he needs to mix it up if he wants to land those. But very even games so yeah. far. Yeah, great use of the aerials there. I love it when I see Mario's mix it up, going for a lingering nair to keep the combo going. Getting Shinjobi off stage here. Not a bad showmanship by PC Principal right now. He's looking really good right now. And this stage I like selection. the up smash choice. This stage selection, very good for Mario. This is a good choice because Greninja also doesn't really gain anything off the platforms. So this might might have been yep. a big change in that. I'm not even going to finish. Good forward smash. <laughs> that happens. Sometimes with these players, they just go so fast, it's hard to keep up with them. But here we go. We got a little bit of a string using the platforms fairly well. And that's what PC Principal has been having trouble with a lot in this whole matchup, is just landing. Shinjobi's doing a great job of getting under him and keeping him juggled with up tilts and up airs. Normally what you think of for a Mario player, not a... Oh, that's ooh, it. I didn't realize he didn't have a jump. That'll a take. little disheartening finish to it, uh, but I, he played well. Uh, second sock of first game, first sock of second game. Mm -hmm. He was looking pretty well, but that just goes to show Joe's adaptation. Yeah, he you see the patience in him. When, you, when he plays, you just like see the patience. It's pretty crazy. Um, Especially if he ever struggles in game one, the change to game two is always mm -hmm. fantastic. And that's, yeah, I think that's um, what I've come to understand, uh, necessity 
to be a top player is you have to adapt. You have to know how to do it.